Hello and welcome. Today we are going to prepend to a file. Prepending. I, I, I'm saying it weird because in my mind I want to say preappend. I would have thought that was the word, but when I went to name this file, it turns out that it's prepend, not preappend. Anyway, we're going to add a line to the top of an existing file, not using sed, not using awk or any tools like that, just using the cat command. Now, if I was to cat out a file I have here called names.txt, you can see I have a list of 10 names. Now, I can echo John Smith to that list, and I can use greater than greater than to append to the bottom of the names.txt. And if I cat out names.txt, you see we have our original list but now John Smith is at the bottom of that list. If I was to go into that file and delete John Smith. Now, how do I add John Smith to the top of that list just using the cat command, actually cat and, there, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. Cat and echo uh, together, basically. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say cat less than and then parentheses and in parentheses, I'm gonna give it a command. I'm gonna say echo uh, John Smith. And then I can give it the name of our file, names.txt. If I do that, what it's doing is echoing and then catting out the file. So you can see we now have John Smith at the top of the list. But we haven't actually modified the file. If I cat out um, names.txt, you can see John Smith isn't there. So how do we get our output into that original file? Well, as I talked about in previous, file, uh, previous videos, you don't want to just redirect into the original file. We're gonna get an error here and what's actually gonna happen, the cat command's gonna say, you can't write to the file you're reading from, but the echo command, I think we'll still put that in there so we'll actually get John Smith uh, and all the other names will be erased. We could go to a temp file, write that, and then move that over the original file. That works, but as I talked about in a previous video, there is the sponge command which is designed for this. We're gonna say, we're gonna pipe instead of redirect to sponge and then give our original file name. So this is gonna take the output of that and allow you to write to the original input while you're still running your commands. So I do that, now I can cat out names.txt and you can see John Smith is at the top of that name. So that's one way to do it. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna delete John Smith, oops, from that file. So that's one way to do it. There's another way. We can actually echo first John Smith and then we can pipe that into cat. And then we can give cat dash, which means cat standard input. So we're getting John Smith. We're going to then use cat to display that. But then cat, which cat, cat, which stands for concatenate, we can then merge that with names.txt. So we do that, and you can see we get the list of names. But again, we haven't written that file. So again, we're going to use the sponge command to write to names.txt. If I cat out names.txt, you can see that John Smith is now at the top of that file. So that's two ways to prepend to a file without using sed or awk or any of those more very powerful and useful tools, but just using basic echo and cat commands. And then you could either put it in a temp file and move it over the original, or if you have Sponge installed, Sponge is a super useful tool. Thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. Also be great if you came, became a Patreon supporter. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.